Hi everybody, so today we are going to look at um, pH and indicators and in particular we are going to focus on um, on the calculations, okay, but we'll come across a bit of theory along the way. So starting off here, we're doing 2018 question 11b and we're asked to define Arrhenius's definition of a base. Okay, so his definition of a base states that a substance will dissociate into hydroxide ions in water, or you could say an aqueous solution, okay, either or is fine, but you must say that um, a substance that dissociates into hydroxide ions, that's OH minus, in an aqueous or water solution, okay, and that's this. And then, next one is, why is NH3 considered to be a base, um, according to bronson Lowry theory, okay, same business again for this, Okay, we have two definitions in total, uh, two types, I should say, for acids and bases, Arrhenius and Bronson Lowry. So NH3, doesn't really matter what chemical they use there, okay? Uh, all you have to do is define a base, okay? All you have to do there for is state that NH3 accepts a proton. So it does not matter what chemical it is here, okay? As long as it's a base, okay, they all accept a proton because according to Bronson Lowry theory, that's the definition of a base. Okay, so that's all you have to say. I think students were put off by the fact that they use an actual example, but it doesn't matter in an exam at all. Okay, so we're going to have to calculate the pH value of two things in a moment. Now, this is important here that we're able to determine if it's a strong acid or a weak acid. Okay, um, if it's a strong acid, we can use a normal formula. If it's a weak acid, we have to use a slightly altered formula. Okay. Um, so first off, you're told for I is calculate the pH value of a 0.5 molar solution of HCl. Now, do you notice how there's no dissociation constant there? Well, if there's no dissociation constant, that must mean it's a strong acid. Now, there is a few acids in terms of um, strong acids and weak acids that you do need to know off by heart. And you should know at this stage that HCl okay, is a strong acid. Okay, so we write out our formula, pH equals minus log to the base 10, and don't forget those square brackets, okay, H plus. Okay, that's our overall formula there. You must put in those square brackets, okay, otherwise you're going to lose marks. So we're finding the pH, so we write down pH again, equals minus log to the base 10, and now we have 0.5. Because those square brackets indicate molarity, which is moles per liter. Um, so that's why they have to be there. If you did, um, what are they, the semicircle brackets there, you wouldn't get the marks. Now, just throw it into your calculator, okay? Don't worry about square brackets in the calculator, you just do your normal brackets for that. And as soon as you throw it into the calculator there, you're going to get 0 0.3. And that's our answer, okay? 0 0.3 for HCl. And that makes sense because HCl is a strong acid and, and a strong acid in terms of the pH scale is anything really that should be less than 2. Okay, so the next question um, is, let's see, I, I, is asking us to calculate the pH value again of ethanoic acid. Now, all carboxylic acids are weak acids automatically. And you can, you're already told that it is a weak acid because you're given the acid dissociation constant. Okay, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. So we use a slightly different formula for this one. Okay, so pH equals minus log. And then we'll do our square root there. And inside here now we're going to do our Ka, which is our dissociation constant, times multiplied by the molarity. Okay. Um, so that's the um, H plus concentration here. Okay, so pH equals minus log square root, our Ka is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 bracket. And then we do a bracket here, and we want to do our, our 0 0.5. Okay, now... When you're doing these, I strongly recommend you do it step by step. If you plug that straight into the calculator there, many of you will make a mistake. Okay, guaranteed. Okay, seen happen to my own students all the time. 
So minus log is to bracket like this, and then we multiply it out. Now when I'm doing um, something in scientific notation, I always do that in brackets. So I'm going to do bracket 1.8 times 10, so yx minus 5, bracket, close bracket. Okay, another bracket now is going to be our 0 0.5, bracket. And we're going to guess 9 times 10 to the minus 6. Now you could throw all this into the calculator if you want. Okay, so minus log, square root, and then do your brackets, 9 times 10, so yx, minus 6, close your brackets, and you're going to get your pH, if you do that correctly, to be 2.52. Okay, so you can see there there's a bit of a difference between the pHs, one is um, 0 0.3 and another is 2.52 so obviously the 0 0.3 is a lot stronger so part 2 is your ethanoic acid there uh, which we have answered now, so we have part I done and we have part 2 done here okay, and that's this okay, there is a few more theory questions later on um, in this 2018 question 11 section but we're only going to focus on the, um, on the maths for today's lesson okay. I'll be doing a few more of these lessons over the next um, few days, so keep checking the website and you'll see them go up.